Okay. Hey y'all, it is funny and I have a, quite a little bit of time before I go to work. So I figured um, with Thanksgiving coming up, we should probably work on this picture. I did not know it was going to take so long. Um, and to get it finished, I'm probably going to have to do a lot of it off camera. But I have time now, so we're going to work on what we can work on. <coughs> okay, so let's go with this here. Um, and when I do these, I still look to see if I have another leaf that I'm going to end up doing that same way. Because I want a somewhat cohesive theme of uh, how the leaves are going. But since I've been doing that, I think that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take... I think I left my shopper somewhere. Okay. So, this is yellow orange. And before time's sake, I'm not going to, um, well, I left my pencil, so I didn't write this down. Let me, let me pause y'all and, and go get my other stuff. Okay, now make sure the whole page is in frame. So, what I'm going to do is um, when the video first uploads, um, you won't see uh, the colors listed. Uh, I will go back later and list the colors. I'll go back and watch the video and write the colors down. And I'll list it for you all. Okay, I'm using metallic gold. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my um, yellowed orange and just go back over the whole thing and smudge out some of that metallic gold. And I didn't go heavy with the metallic gold. Like, I didn't use hard pressure when I put it down because, um, if you could tell from these here, it doesn't like to blend out that much, so. Lesson learned on that. Okay. <clears throat> and then, we'll go ahead with... Spanish orange, which is a lighter color, and just on that side. We're going to put over the Spanish orange. Um, this leaf here, let's start with, 
olive green on the outside. And we're going to go over that little bit of orange on the outline part because they both meet. Whatever color we get, that's fine. It'll probably be a brownish. Okay, and then we're gonna go in to this leaf and do the whole leaf as well with our olive green. PC 911. Um, then we're going to go, <coughs> we're going to keep that out now. I'm going to put it away. If you're following the colors, we're going to go with dark green. And right against where the yellow is is where we're gonna put where our, our oranges, I should say. We're gonna put our dark green PC nine zero eight. Only on those parts, so we're gonna add this. dark green and you can go heavy with it right at the crease and fade that out and so how you do that is you just go heavy pressure and then lighten it up and it's so dark like you and then fade it out I'm hoping that Prisma colors go on sale for Black Friday because I want to tr I want the um I want the fifth, the hundred and fifty set, but I'll take what I can get. So if the seventy-two set is on sale, then that would be awesome. And so now I'm back with my olive green. I'm just gonna go over and make sure that I get. All my um, white spots out. I don't want the paper to show. I'm varnishing it pretty much. But I'm going to leave. I'm going to do light pressure on the outline because we're going to go over that one more time. With the um, with um, Spanish orange, so in here, Now I'll do another video tomorrow. Um, I won't have a video on Thanksgiving only because, well, I may actually because I don't have to work till late. <clears throat> so maybe I will. All right. So now I'm going to take my Spanish orange and I'm just going to go over my outline on the 
yellowed orange side and then off into where the leaf meets in the center. And it makes kind of a muddy green, but that's all right because that's what I want. I want it to look like it's turning. All right, so that's that one right there. So we used Spanish orange, yellow orange, dark green, and olive green. Now we're gonna move on to this one. Um, and we're going to do a reddish orange treatment. Which what we're trying to do is keep these colors here, right? Keep these colors that we have on all of the foliage. So that our flowers look different. So this here we want to do. Let's do crimson red and. No, this is Carmine. I'm sorry. This is Carmine Red. Carmine 926. Poppy red. little curly cues with the yellow orange so let's keep the stand order carmine poppy we're gonna just use straight up orange and then we'll use the yellow orange do with this one is what we did with hit this and we'll just have the colors fade out we'll go all the way to the edge with the color so what I'm doing is just gonna go ahead and use carmine and poppy where the poppy was orange with the orange ones. Treat it as one. <clears throat> and then we'll use the carmine on the stems. Alright, 
And I'm gonna go over that again with um, light green. Let me put on this y'all real quick. Okay. Let's see the edge of my paper here. I just wanna make sure that you all are in frame. So So what I'm gonna do now is just I don't need to do that bit. So let's go over my colors the way I just laid them out. <coughs> so this is the carmine. Carmine. So that's our Carmine. Now we're going to go in with our poppy red. And remember when we're blending, we're going to go into that Carmine a little bit. And the carmine and the poppy are very close in color so it gives you on camera you probably can't see the difference but there is a slight difference okay and then we're going to take our orange and again blend up into that poppy red Okay, and then our last color is yellow to orange. Now because of how this leaf is turned, it doesn't have a little curly cue, so it don't have it don't get the yellow to orange. You know. Make sure that all my spots that I'm gonna cover is covered. I'm just trying to fill in some spots. I made some spots a little darker. Like my carmine area. On these two not as dark as I would like them to be. Okay, so we have that. So we used, we used Carmine. That's what we use. Carmine, Poppy, Orange, Yellow, Orange, PC 926, 922, 918, and 1002. Alright, we're gonna move along to this here. Um, I think we can do a. <coughs> Let's get our green out. 
we'll do we'll start with a dark green move to an olive green and then the uh, gold okay so right at our stem oh we need to fix this stem we're just going to go over here a little bit with a little green don't have to be perfect we just want to bring a little green in that all right so pick our dark green color in our stem Okay, and then we're going to color in this part here. Okay, now we're going to take but we'll keep our dark green and with real light pressure color in the uh, like say a third of the leaf a third to a half whichever one you know you colored up to first so some of it is half some of it is a third It doesn't matter because we're going to go over it um, with our green a little bit. So we're going to take our olive green. Go into the dark green a little bit. We're gonna use our frenemy and take that metallic gold and do the tip. And we're gonna use light pressure on this. And you're not gonna burnish. We just wanna get some of it now. Now this one turned a little bit, so I'm wondering how I wanna deal with that. I think I'm just gonna keep it how it is. So, light layer, metallic. today which means it's gonna be busy at the store which is another reason why I wanted to color because oh ooh, ooh, it's gonna be so busy I'm gonna be so tired our dark green and now we're going to start to burnish this page this uh, portion out it don't take much and I haven't mastered my prisma colors yet
but I think I'll do okay with them. I think I'm going to do a uh, tag. At some point. So, there's a couple of tags. That I haven't done yet. And maybe I'll do. I'll do my book collection, even though I haven't gotten all the books that I want. But I'll do. A, I'm, I'm gonna do a book collection in December because I make it books before then, and I'm gonna do a book collection in December, and that'll be my book collection up to December uh, 2018 and then um, I'll probably do one in June and then another one in December I will have a video up for my, <coughs> my um, theme months for for 2019 One thing that I can tell you for sure that we're going to do is September, um, September, huh, February, we are going to have uh, two things for um, um, February, uh, a Black History, Black Bloody. If you're in the U.S., then you know that February is Black History Month, so um, I will have pictures that will be centered around that, um, but also um, Chinese New Year usually falls in February, um, and so we are going to do the... dragon in I want to say it's in Imaginorphia but I'm not sure um, it will be in that video and I'll tell you where to find it obviously but um, we will do that as a part of our color and all so the theme we'll have a so what what it is is we'll have a theme in some months and then some months we have a theme in a color along. And February is one of those where we'll have a theme in a color along. And the color along will be that dragon. The theme will be Chinese New Year and um, Black History Month. And then um, I will probably do that for each month um, just so people are aware of the months because uh, their Black History Month is the most well-known month because uh, for obvious reasons but there is also um, Irish American Month um, his, uh, I think it's Hispanic Month and I think that's in May but it may not be but I think they tried to make it coincide with Cinco de Mayo, but I'm not sure. Um, but there are other um, months that are not as widely known. So we will theme those. So the olive isn't that different from the dark green. 
so they blend and look as one color. Oh, excuse that. If you hear any noises, that is my husband. He just got up. So, yeah, I'm not when you first get up, you make a little, you make your morning noises. <laughs> I like to get up. I could have slept in because I don't um, have to be at work until later. <clears throat> but I like to get up and um, get coloring done or just get up because that's been, if you, and it's not just me, but if you think about how much time you spend at work, then when I'm home, I don't like to sleep in because I feel like I spend so much of my waking hours at work that when I'm home, I don't want to be asleep. I want to spend, you know, time awake at home. So even when I'm tired, I get up. So that I can enjoy being home. So now I'm just darkening up a dark green because I don't like um, that it looks like I just only used one color when we have th uh, three colors on here. So I'm darkening it right at the base and then fading it out into that olive green. And then I'm not going to um, go back. <clears throat> I should have seen that because I know where I am. But, um, what I'm doing is just trying to get rid of the white without losing my definition of color. Okay, so I want, and if you hear that, um, kind of like a knocking sound, that is, um, the wind, it must be windy outside, pushing my back door. I'm in an older house, so it creaks a lot. So yeah, I'm going to do that video. Then I'm going to do a um, coloring studio, which I haven't put together yet, but I do have the space for it. Um, my, I have something that doesn't supposed to go. Something that's not supposed to go. Okay. My hubby is giving me The spare room that we have so that's going to be my art studio well my I call it my coloring studio because that's the art I do right I, I color so it's my coloring studio and um, I get to work on it and decorate it yeah and I love to decorate doll so um <clears throat> we're going to get like some I'm probably going to make some bookshelves or I may buy some bookshelves and then um, like spruce them up and so there may be some I'm not going to say non-color related because it's for my color studio so it is color related right okay do this real quick before I start rambling. So for these here we use dark green PC908, uh, we use olive green PC911 and then we use metallic gold PC950. Alright, oh, almost knocked y'all off. We're going to do these here. 
and let's keep it with these two colors here. We want to do it the way that I should have did that one. So we're going to put over our creams. We're going to pick up our metallic and let's use Harvest Gold and Spanish Orange. And I chose those colors because when you color them, this is going to be our dark, our medium, and our light. So let's line these up. All right, can you see that? Metallic gold, 950, golden rod, 1034, a Spanish orange, 1003. <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to probably get either build some shelves or buy some shelves and, um, you know, spruce them up, add things to them. Um, and it, I may put it on the channel. Um, and it just, it won't be a coloring video, but it will still fit the channel because it's color related. Um, I already have my desk and I'll show you that. And I love that desk. My desk is a old school 19 probably 1950s 1960s school desk um because it has a hardwood top and then well it's probably not solid wood it's probably um like a particle a hard particle board or whatever but um any older people who watch my channel who went to school in the 50s or the 60s or maybe even before then um, know that that's that I'm talking about um, it's a hard wood surface and the legs are metal and I'll show that on when I do the art studio uh, video and I want one for so long um, because I just think they're cool and sturdy and one day I went outside, I used to live in a building, and I went outside, and there was one, someone was throwing it out in the building that I was in, and it was beside the dumpster, and I said, like, get out of here. So I held that bad boy, and I was in a building with no elevator. So I hauled that bad boy up the stairs. I lived on the third floor. And so, um, I had to haul it up the stairs by myself um, but I was like I don't care I, I want this stuff and so it has been with me ever ever since um, I've painted it I probably will paint it again um, I want to and I, I'll probably do a few projects when it, it, I'll probably do a series now that I'm thinking about it. Um, the decorating of my art studio. Um, series of uh, like the making of my art, my coloring studio or whatever. Because I want to um, veneer the top of my desk and then repaint it so I think that'll be pretty cool so there's some stuff coming up on the channel say hi to the people babe hello how's everybody doing <laughs> And then, I don't know, maybe I'll um, color, put some of my favorite uh, pages, frame them and put them in there too. Alright, 
So we done with that and like I said, we use metallic gold, we use golden rod, and we use Spanish orange. So we are almost done. No, it's old. You don't have to whisper, man, because you can still hear you <laughs> on the video like the other time when you said, are you filming? <laughs> Back in the serious face. Okay, so we're almost finished with this top corner here. We just need to do this from here. And let's bring in this color from over here and bring it in here to like even everything out. But see, if I do that, I'll have to kind of turn around to keep my green of these. these um, Uh, styles the same. How far are we into this video? Only 40 minutes in. Okay, let's go ahead and finish that. So let's use a different color combination. Let's go in with. I want to use Spanish orange. Spanish orange. We're gonna use green. So down here, let's use our olive green. Let's put that in. Okay, and then let's put in our Spanish orange. It's gonna be a new color combination that we. Well, it's not a new color combination, but one that we haven't done on this particular wave yet. And so, bring it out. Uh -huh. And then um, we'll take Carmine Red. What we want to do is bring in that red along this here. Okay, like that. And then go down even with that. We're going to line the black line with the olive green. Okay. Then. Just above that, we have our carmine red. Okay. So line the black line with the olive green. Above that, right above it, we got our carmine um, red. And then over carmine red and into the part of the, the Spanish orange we're going to use that Spanish orange and what we're using the Spanish orange for is to blend out some of that carmine red and it's going to make a, almost an a, a orangey color And you're kind of just going up and down because you're not blending it all the way out into the Spanish orange because you do want the Spanish orange to show as a lighter color. Okay. 
Okay. And now I just make sure we go in dark and that back. And then I brought it out a little bit as to the other color. Okay, and then just blend it out one more time. And we just want to really muddle those colors up a little bit. And just keep going back and forth until you're satisfied with how it looks. Like right now, not satisfied this green because it's too sharp. It's not blending like a lot. I want to go back and forth with my green and my carmine so I can blend that out. And then I sponge it on. Here we go. And that's our last one. And I probably won't do another leaf like that. So that's going to be a one-off. Because I don't. I'm not happy with it. I'm happy with it in terms of. I started it. And I was able to work with it. And get it to look decent. But I'm not happy with it in terms of. The vinyl. 